We're joined now by Royal Hairdresser Richard Ward because with Christmas Day falling on a Monday this year, tomorrow might be the last chance for you to get a professional oh, blow dry yeah. before the festivities begin. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world because look how tall they what are. What a sandwich. Look how what a sandwich tall they are. this is. Well, look, he is here to share his tips on how to make the look last longer. Richard, you're a literal lifesaver today. Well, I hope so. There's uh, going to be so many of you at home that are going to get a Christmas blow dry on mm. Christmas Eve. Yeah. Or you might be doing it yourself at home. But how can we make it last the whole week? Tell us, please. I'm going to tell you. So I've got a little VT that here that we're just going to play. So the first and foremost thing is not too much product. Now, people think to make hair last, you need to overload it with product. Totally wrong. Mm -hmm. Don't do that because we're going to load it through the week. So that's just me blow drying Edna's hair, you can see earlier. And there's so many of you that will use Velcro rollers. So we're talking curl. If we ha put lots of curl in the hair, it has much further to drop. Mm -hmm. So that is the secret, either with a tong, or you can see that we're also clipping hair here. Some of you like to clip hair, or they used to, or you like to use a Velcro roller. So the main thing is, is the curl that we need to get in the hair. Now, so Christmas Eve, so when you go to bed, it's, it's how are Done. we going to look after those mm. curls? So silk pillowcases, if any of you are lucky enough to have one of these. I've got one. That, have you got yeah, one? Yeah, I've got one, yeah. Fantastic. Yep. That's why your hair looks so fabulous. And like. as well, <laughs> well, thank you, but apparently it helps with the wrinkles as well. <laughs> Two oh, in maybe one. I'll use it then. How about that round me face if <laughs> so, you don't mind? <laughs> <laughs> so that will look after your curl and it also limits all the static in your hair. Then also, before you go to bed, just gently put your hair up in a high top knot with one of these silk scrunchies, because that will also look after your curls. Because if you think about it, if your hair's up here and the curls are up here with a silk scrunchie, you're not going to be lying on the curls. curls. Yeah. Exactly. So you get up Christmas morning and then you have a shower. I'm yeah. sure most of you will. You must. Now, moisture is our enemy. We don't want any moisture mm -hmm. in the hair because that is going to make our hair heat drop. Heat as well. Exactly, heat. So a little toweling hairband is quite a good idea. Then put a, a, a shower cap on. Now, I know it's not the most glamorous thing, but I can tell you, who cares if your hair's going to look great? Absolutely. <laughs> who cares? So um, the, the, the shower cap, that's what we need. There's got lots of space inside to keep all the moisture out. And so they're moving on. So that is going to last you maybe a couple of days. So if I come on to Alicia here... Let's do it. I believe you two know each other quite well. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do know each other a little bit. I don't know how. I don't know how we do. I think there's a little relation going on here. <laughs> <A> similarity. <laughs> is this your daughter? She, it's, this is my daughter. Aww. She begged me to come on. She begged me. <laughs> I said, that's a Christmas present. No more oh, presents. Dad, let me come and work, please. <laughs> Well, her hair looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. She takes after me. I've given it all to her. Well, you've um, both got very good hair, I will <laughs> say. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But look, so a lot of you at home will have fine hair. So let's say we're on day three or day four. Now, the lifesaver for a lot of you, especially with fine hair, we also all know it can go a bit greasy. So um, dry shampoo is a fantastic oh, thing to use. It's a lifesaver, dry shampoo. It is, but a lot of people make the mistake of using it every single day. So if I can ask you to just pop over, darling. Um, don't call everybody, darling. But you know, <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just literally in between the roots like that. And when you put the dry shampoo in, you almost need to shampoo it into your roots. And that gives you a certain amount of texture and it also gives you a certain amount of body. I remember I, when I had my long hair, that I lived so for dry shampoo. Yes, that's exactly. It just gives so much body as well. That you know, flick was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. That was your vision worthy, that <laughs> You've one. been practising. But, you know, this was out of fashion for years mm. and years and years and it came back and everybody that I know uses it, even if it's just for the fringe or the hairline. Now, I've also got a VT earlier. So once you've got this, once you've used the dry shampoo, you can see now, day four, day five, when your hair's really... You know when you just can't use any more dry shampoo? Just wash the fringe and the hairline, because let's be honest, that's the bit that's important and that's what everybody sees. Mm. So you can just dry that in, so just the fringe and the hairline there, and then you can also re-tong your hair. So remember that if you've tonged it or blow-dried it... After can, dry shampooing. After the dry shampooing. So the, the curl that you've had for the rest of the week, so day five curl, just pick up some bits, put it round a brush and use a hairdryer or some hairspray and revitalise those curls. So whereas now, heat there was our enemy, heat here's our friend. Absolutely right. And, right. and would you put any dry shampoo on the parting? That's a really good idea, absolutely. But if you do put it on the parting, sometimes... And also, I think the main thing to know about dry shampoo is don't spray it all over your hair because it can really dull it. Right. Mm. 
Um, but we're now on day, we're now on day five, day six, when actually that's why I was showing washing a fringe or washing the hairline, but leaving the rest of it yeah. that you've already done out. Because it's got the body, you don't want to knock it out. Exactly, you don't want to knock it out. And now, then what about zhuzhing up? Zhuzhing up, right. So we now get to New Year's Eve. Here we go. We're going right. out, guys. We're, <laughs> We're going out. Going out. <laughs> this is the last night of the year. This is party, party central. And you're thinking, do you know what? I still haven't washed my hair all week. What is the best thing? And i tell you what the best thing is. It is um, for any kind of chignon, that works really well with less clean hair. Mm. Because the, actually, the more dirty the hair is, the better it is. So this is the updo. This is the updo. And this should take you no more than two minutes. Max, now on got this lovely air bag, <laughs> lovely air. Well, she has now. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got this elastic band, so you've got a hook, and I love these. You can buy them very inexpensively, and you just turn this around and around and around, and that gives you a really, really tight ponytail. Can you see that? In fact, can I, if I turn yeah. you around? Yeah, the look, camera, just literally claws So you can see, down. can you see the claw there? There yeah. you go, the claw. So it's an elastic band that really grabs your ponytail. You can buy these in packs of 10 from anywhere and it will cost you no more. That will be in all year, that will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so. I hope so. Now, also then securing it with a hairpiece here. So you can buy these inexpensively, less than 10 pounds. Mm. Just pop it in like that. Wrap that on. Lovely. Wrap that on. Have you done this before? Oh, you know just... so much about women's hair, you do. I know, and not in a weird way. But, I did, like, when I used to have my long hair, I just used to love it. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah I just used to love it. I absolutely love it. We've got about 30 seconds left, Richard. I want to see seconds. this up, dude. Because this is gold. It's coming, it's coming. And there's nothing wrong with a bit of a piece. Oh, no. 30 seconds. Nothing wrong with having so a little piece So there's the piece in. in. How lovely is that piece now? Chanel-inspired, oh. from Manchester, yeah, straight off the catwalk. Chanel-inspired. It's all about ribbons and bows. Everyone's oh, loving a bow at the minute. Everyone is. Lovely. And that's gorgeous. Well, there we go. Sparkle. And yeah. then we've got a little sparkle. And that is your look. Thank you for so much. New with... Year's Eve. And that is the last party night of the year. That serves a round of applause. Lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. With a Richard, lovely, thank you. With a lovely crisp white shirt. Lovely. Beautiful. Gold. Thank you. And thank you for coming in. <laughs> thank you. Um, now, if you'd like to get your hands on anything you've seen today, download our free This Morning app and head to Shop the Show.